Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I cut down my web page load time from seven seconds down to two seconds. So I'm just gonna walk you through the steps that I took. It's not completely optimized my site now. There's a few more things that I could do to improve it, but they'll take a little bit longer, so I put them off for now. So I'll just show you what I did so far that sped it up. This way, if you wanna do it for your site, you'll know the steps that you can take for yourself. So first of all, you can see here, it took seven seconds, 7.2 seconds for the first view. Repeat view was 6.5 seconds. That's to load a page. And it was a very simple page as it was. I reran the test just around the same time because I like to run a couple tests just to get an average. And it ran at 5.48 seconds and about four seconds. So not very quick on either one of them. And then here is a speed test on the page. You can do your speed test at webpagetest.org. Just type in your website address and then it will run the test for you. The first view now is two seconds and the repeat view is under two seconds. It's actually under 1.5 seconds with 1.46 seconds. So it's running much faster. So what did I do? Number one, I use an image compressor. I just use imgonline.com.ua. This website has an image compressor and you can also turn them into progressive JPEGs. Progressive JPEGs make it seem like your web page is loading faster because of the way that it loads your pictures. So you can just plug your information in here, put in your image and it will compress it for you and then you can switch over to that compressive one. Now, other things that I did, I turned off every single plugin that I could that I wasn't using or that I could get away with not using to speed it up. There was also a background image on my main page that was loading from the place I bought the theme from. Sometimes themes will do this where they point back to some kind of assets that they have on their own page. This will slow down your load time. So you need to make sure that it goes through your own server. The other thing that I did was looked in Google Tag Manager to see if I had any tags that I wasn't currently using. I did have two tags that I wasn't using, so I turned both of those off so they wouldn't be loading on the site. Now, that's how I cut it down to two seconds, and the main way is to load everything that you can from your website. The other thing is to cut out everything you aren't using, including extra plugins, extra images, anything that's not adding value or necessary, cut it out. Let's see how fast the site takes to load now. I'll just press enter right now. So we'll see how long it takes. You can see that it's pretty quick. It's not going to make anyone get frustrated because it is quick enough. Now there are some things that I need to fix on individual post pages because one of the problems that I found when I did my web page testing on these post pages is that even though I don't have an image loading on this page, this is just a video here, even though there's no image, it's still loading an image from the WordPress featured image. So I'm going to see if there's a way that I can turn that off because it's adding no value except slowing down my page time, which I do not want. So again, those are the basics. Turn off any plugins you're not using, remove any extra scripts or tags that you may have running on the site or in Google Tag Manager and get everything you can pointed to assets on your own site don't point to third-party sites as much as possible. If you put those into action, you should see your speed test reduce in time. Just do a test before and after, and you should be able to see a decrease. If you have any questions about what I did or about how to do a speed test, just post them in the comments below.